So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom section of our paper, sort of in the middle to give us enough room to try to fill the space. All right, so I'm going to start with kind of a mild happy face or a nice little arc here. That's going to become the base of our oil lantern. And then I'm going to just kind of round that edge just a little bit and make another one that mirrors that same shape that we just made, the same line. And then I'll round that edge off. So it's sort of like a smiley face down here. All right, then we're going to take our pencil and we're going to go over here and I'm going to make this angled, slightly rounded edge here and one slightly rounded on there. And then I'm going to make that same smiley face motion here come across to connect those two. So we're creating the base of our, our lantern. Now I'm going to make two parallel lines, one that comes up here and then another one over here. So they're parallel to each other and now we're going to make this next section. So this is kind of the area where the oil would be filling in. We're creating the very bottom. So let me make that same arc shape here following what I've had before. So we get that slight bit of roundness. Okay. Now when I get up to the next level, I'm going to taper it just a little bit on each side. And I'm only going a little ways, because now I need to make this little arm that comes out on each side. So I'm going to make a line that comes out on each side. This is going to be that support that creates, that leads up to the chimney and things on your lantern. Alright, so now that I've got that in place, I need to go out a little ways and create the other part of that arm. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Once I have that spacing figured out, then I'm going to come somewhere in the middle. So let me do another one of those little smiley faces to connect from here to here. And then I'm going to, right here in the middle, roughly, I'm going to make two parallel lines. So distance from each other is roughly the same. I'm not looking for perfection, just trying to get a basic idea. And then I'm going to make that smiley face again, but not quite so severe. And I'm going to go up a little further. So I'm angling these two lines in, and then I'm going to make that arcing line again. It's still like a smile, very mild smile. All right, and then let's make a dome shape. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to only go part way. I'm going to leave some space in the middle, so I've got my dome. And then I'm going to come down and create this little rectangular piece. That's where the wick would come out of your... Lantern. Okay, and if you want to put something in there for the wick, I mean, if you think that you're just gonna, I'll darken these lines just a little bit here to indicate that there's opening. All right, so we'll put the imaginary wick in there for now. So we've got this portion ready. Right here, I would have. So I may have to erase some of my lines, but I'm going to go ahead and put this little circle in. This would be the control, or the little dial, that helps move the wick up and down. So we're going to put in that shape. That's what if I turn it, the wick goes up, or if I turn it the other way, the wick would go back down inside, and it adjusts the size of your flame and the brightness of your lantern. All right, over here, I'm going to create this little space so it's which would be your filling area so there's a spot to fill up your lantern with some lamp oil that's what this would be so let me 
I'm going to build up that shape and I'll put some little lines here and then I'm going to create this elliptical shape. It shouldn't be a perfect circle because we're not looking directly at the top of it. Alright, so now we've got a place to put in our oil, we've got a place to turn up the, the wick. So we're doing well so far. Now, I want to work on this outside arm that supports our lantern. So I'm going to gradually angle that up and decide about how high I want it to be. And whatever I do on that side, I'm going to do on this side. Okay. And now I've got this one in here that needs to do the same. So it's mirroring whatever is going on with this other line. And you'll notice I like to do a series of shorter dashes. It's just easier for me to control where my pencil's going and to keep. And we're trying to draw fairly light. I mean, I'm... so that if we have any mistakes, we can go back and erase them later if necessary. All right, now, this isn't done. We'll have to come back up here and we'll have to turn this inward toward the lamp. But I'm not exactly sure. where everything's going to be yet. So, I've got that part done. Now we're missing some key points. And here we need to create our globe. The light shines through this glass globe. So we need to create our globe shape. And that's going to come out pretty close to these side arms that the support's on here. And I'll go up maybe to that spot. Okay, and then I have to do that on this side as well. Notice I'm starting right from the bottom of this little circular area that we created earlier. Okay, and again I like to do those short dashes as I curve, gradually curve, and you can erase those extra marks if they bother you. Okay, so I've got that done, and I'm going to stop at a certain point. Notice I didn't connect them, because up here there's actually a metal piece that comes down that creates the chimney where the oil lamp vents, releases the heat, and, and fumes and things come out the top. Alright, so what I'm going to do now so I'm going to create this, and there's that smiley-faced arc again. And I'm going to create just a slight curve on each side of that. Actually, I'm going to go out just a little further there. Okay. And then I'm going to bring that little arc around, so that's just the very edge that's touching our globe. Now I'm going to come in just a little bit and create a line that goes straight up here, and a line that's straight up there. Okay, so these two are parallel from each other. Now I'm going to create another lightly arced line, sort of like a smiley face. <clears throat> okay. And now the next line is going to be on both sides, but it's going to angle in slightly. All right, and connect them again with a slightly curved line. Alright, and here we go again with two parallel lines coming up. And this part's going to get a little different because now I'm going to take a line and I'm still bringing it down a little bit so it's slightly arced. But I'm going to create this little angle right here. And then we're going to come up. And right here, we're going to put a partial hole and another one and another one. So this is where it's venting out. All that heat's rising up here and the fumes from, from the oil and such have to have a place to get out. And that's where it comes out so that way your flame doesn't die out prematurely. Alright, so now I'm going to create some more lines. So I'm going to put a line that goes right here. And I'm going to raise this up a little further. And this part's actually going to come up to where that stops. And we're 
going to do another curved line. And then inside there, we're going to come in a little ways. Ooh, too far. I said a little ways, so let me go back out. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to create oops, a line across. Do a little, almost like parentheses on each side. And then we'll close that off. Okay, and then we're going to create another area of the chimney where these, where it's able to vent. Okay, so I've created a couple little spots. Now I'm going to put a line across the top of those. Curve that just a little. Bring another line across here, and I can clean up any of that that I put in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to create this dome shape up here. All right, so we've got our lantern from top to bottom, pretty much. All right, this is going to connect here. All right, and I'm making some slight adjustments on this side. All right. So now I've got the top here. I'm going to make a little line that comes across here. And this is actually, and I'm going to just make a couple little dome pieces here, because this is a piece where the wire like you could hook it up or you could there we go. So put this little piece on our lantern. And then usually right about here you'll also find a handle. So you might see part of that. But it's gonna be flipped down in this case so we won't see very much of it. But there's this little handle that comes out so that if you're carrying your lantern, it flips down on one side. So we'll go ahead and put that on there. And then just a couple more details. One is a, the wire that helps hold this globe in place. So it's sort of like making an X. I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to come up here about the same level. And I'm going to crisscross over there. And then because this is glass, we're going to see some in the back, so a little bit lighter. And kind of close to where we are here. Whoops. We'll see those. So the one in the front, darker because that's the one closest to us. The lighter lines in the back because we're seeing the wires on the back side. And then I've got this other wire that comes across. It's kind of connected here. And I'll make this line a little thicker. And it comes through over here. And then you've got this little loop here. And this is something, this is the tool that allows you to raise and lower your globe so that you can work on lighting the wick. Okay. So, that's just a quick tutorial on how to draw an old-fashioned oil lantern. <clears throat> so hopefully you had fun and you'll add some color using either oil pastel, charcoal, there's many ways that you could finish this off or just add value by shading it in with your pencil. Have fun!